Yeah, Minister, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, and I'm really pleased uh, to discuss with you today the development of carbon capture and storage, because uh, this discussion today is very timely. Uh, exactly, well, after one week, next Tuesday, the Commission, the European Commission, uh, will publish the carbon management strategy. This will accompany our 2040 climate target plan. And um, our economic modelling around this 2040 plan is, uh, is clear. Without CCUS, we will not meet our 2040 and 2050 objectives in a cost-effective way. So we know how we will reach our 2030 targets. We will promote energy efficiency and renewables, but for very ambitious targets um, for 2040, we need something on top of that. So we know we do not have any time to waste. The EU needs a common and comprehensive policy framework addressing all aspects of carbon management technologies. We need CO2 transport and storage infrastructure here in U European Union, um, but we also need cross-border and open access rules uh, while not over-regulating. And we need to multiply and speed up the number of CCUS projects. And to do so, uh, we will have to address important challenges hindering um, the current development. This includes um, public acceptance and how to guarantee th that um, these projects will be profitable in the long term. And today, as you know, uh, the main incentive for industrial carbon management is ETS. But this is clearly not enough. And we need more incentives so that um, the first large scale projects can help um, bring down costs for the new wave. And to make this happen, public private partnership will be key. CO2 storage capacity in the EU is another priority. And as a first step, the Net Zero Industry Act, which is currently under negotiations, and I truly hope that our co legislators, European Parliament and uh, Council, um, will agree um, very soon. But well, this uh, Net Zero Industry Act um, aims to have 50 million tons of annual storage capacity already by 2030. And this will be already a major challenge uh, because we are starting from zero. Uh, but our industrial stakeholders already expect um, to capture up to 80 million tons of CO2 by 2030. So all this to say, um, that the stakes are high and we have a lot of work to do. And this is why we need to do this uh, with you, with EA and uh, EFTA member states, because you have several decades of know-how and uh, you do have experience of capturing and storing CO2. And you have the storage facilities uh, that we still lack in European Union. And I believe that our cooperation will bring benefits and opportunities to both parties, because after all, we are all part of the same European economic area. Uh, before we get into a good change um, on all these matters, let me uh, make uh, a couple of remarks on our strategy and um, why our collaboration is so important. First on strategy. We will not put um, forward any new legislation next week. Instead, the strategy presents a vision underpinned by the 2040 climate target and um, a set of actions on how to get there. It will cover the three value change, carbon capture and storage, carbon capture and use, and industrial carbon removals. And binding this value change uh, is the, um, CO2 transport infrastructure. Um, we see this as a key enabler, whether it's a carbon capture and storage from fossil sources, removing CO2 directly from the atmosphere or having CO2 as a valuable resource for utilization. Uh, the strategy is um, also um, a, a result of very long uh, discussions and consultations with industry and the stakeholders, because uh, already more than two years ago in 2021, we created CCUS Forum, 
Um, many of you rem do remember how popular this uh, first meeting in Oslo was. And since uh, then, we have had a very good um, um, exchange of ideas. And also um, last summer, we organized a public consultation to which almost 500 respondents um, participated. And uh, this input has been invaluable. And I would especially like to thank Norway and Iceland for your contribution. And it's important to have it um, because um, we want to have a very close dialogue with uh, EA and EFTA states on this subject. Um, and why? Uh, there are a couple of uh, different reasons. First, the main goal of our, our strategy is to help create a single market for CO2 in Europe, including uh, the EA. Doing this will require regional and international cooperation to maximize the potential um, of mitigating emissions uh, in Europe, but also beyond. And second, CO2 storage in Norway and Iceland will be essential to reaching EU climate neutrality targets. And third, you are among the pioneers breaking down technological barriers for CO2 capture and storage. So we note that uh, you have different starting points, for example, on geolo geology. And uh, you have built projects in Norway and Iceland, which are or will soon become operational. Um, industrial players in Europe can learn from this experience. And in turn, this will help to drive down costs uh, and progress industrial carbon management technologies even further. And uh, in Norway, you also have extensive experience and knowledge building oil and gas infrastructure and establishing um, the regulatory framework for this industry. And I have no doubt that uh, this is useful in the context of what we are aiming to achieve now with this strategy. And um, this is um, what uh, is today about for us uh, learning from your experience, uh, but uh, but also aiming to set standards so that uh, all our uh, stakeholders can respect. And I hope uh, to hear from you on your expectations for our strategy and uh, later on the legal proposals if they will follow. Thank you.